I'm going to share exactly how much my 20k YouTube channel makes in YouTube AdSense, but that information isn't going to be helpful to you at all because it's kind of just a bragging thing for YouTubers. So like always, I'm going to share tips on how you can make money and grow on YouTube too. In order to explain everything, I have to take you back to September. I was coming off of one of my best months, but it was also one of my worst. In August, my YouTube channel was growing massively and I made quite a bit of money. When you first start a YouTube channel, all the advice that you'll see online is to post consistently. In fact, I myself said it at one point. The second tip in order to grow your first 1,000 subscribers fast is to be consistent. And because I had a lot of success doing exactly that on TikTok, on Instagram, and I grew very, very quickly on those apps, I thought the same thing could be applied to YouTube. So for the past year and a half, I've been posting three times a week, every single week, without fail. A podcast episode on Mondays and two other videos on Wednesdays and Fridays. So that's what I did and it ended up working really, really well for me. But that's not really sustainable long term unless you have a huge team behind you. Editors, managers, videographers, that that kind of thing. Aside from being a little bit fatigued, that really wasn't the biggest issue. I've been much more tired before working for Disney, going to art school, that whole shebang. Because I was trying to force myself to put out so much content every single week, at least one video of the week would suffer, whether it was the podcast episode or one of the talking head videos or a vlog or whatever it is. I never felt like I had enough time to make those videos the best I could make them. I definitely didn't have any time to learn how to make better YouTube videos. I was just kind of stuck at a certain comfort level and I didn't really know what to do because I was scared. I was scared that if if I posted less, I would make less money, I would hurt my growth, I wouldn't get subscribers anymore, or views, or anything. And I don't know, the world would come crashing down around me. I thought the entire business I've been creating for the past year and a half was going to go up in flames. That's why so many YouTubers are scared to take breaks on YouTube, because they're scared all of this is just going to disappear one day. All the hard work, blood, sweat, and tears that you put in late nights, just gone. But there was one really big thing that kind of proved me wrong. And that was my I tried leaving California for Texas video. Normally I make my videos in the same week that I post them. This Texas video was one of the first videos in a long time where I spent over a week on this video alone. Editing, shooting, the whole process. And it got more views than average on my channel when it first got uploaded and then it got ranked in search. It proved to me that the more time you invest in making a video a really good video, it is actually much better than rushing through a video every single week. So I started thinking about all the other videos that took me a much longer time to make. My music video and my why quit my job at Disney video were one of the only videos where I spent a lot more time on it than I normally do. And the results speak for themselves. They get a lot more views than I normally do. The reason why that's so important is if you didn't already know, subscribers don't really mean anything in terms of how you get paid on YouTube. Views are how you get paid. So if you get a lot of views compared to a channel that has a lot of subscribers, you probably get paid more than a channel with a lot more subscribers. So even though I felt really scared about posting less, I decided it was really important for the growth of my channel to start posting twice a week instead of three times a week. The benefits to posting less were pretty much immediate. I immediately had more time to make my content a lot better, which also meant I could travel more and make more travel content. It reminded me of the entire reason I started this YouTube journey to begin with. Yes, I didn't like my job at Disney, but I was making a whole career change, not because I was fed up with Disney, but because I wanted a change for myself. I didn't want to be stuck in a nine to five office job for the rest of my life and then hate my life until I'm 65 if I live that long. I got so caught up in the numbers and the money and everything that I forgot that the reason why I'm doing this is to create the life that I wanted to to live as an entrepreneur. And that means being able to travel and to live anywhere and to do whatever it is that I personally wanted. And because I was less busy just putting out fires everywhere and just trying to meet my deadlines, I could think clear about my business. I could finally see the glaring problems in my YouTube business and make the decisions to address them. Important decisions like changing my niche. I knew that if I continued to make Instagram advice videos, that was a pretty lucrative niche for me. I always got views with those type of videos and it does make me quite a bit of money. But there's a pretty low ceiling to how successful you can become as an Instagram YouTuber. I don't just want to be a good YouTuber. I want to be a great YouTuber. I want to be able to make videos about a 
lot of different things, not just Instagram. I knew in order to become the next level content creator that I wanted to be, I kind of needed to kill the mediocre product that I had in order to push myself to become a better creator that can create much better content. In the book, Good to Great, they studied hundreds of different companies to see which companies were actually able to go from good to great. Every single company that was able to transform itself from good to great basically did this. They had to kill their mediocre product and make an even better, great product in order to skyrocket in success. I wouldn't have been able to come to this conclusion if I never started to post less. So now I'm going to show you how much I ended up earning in September and October with 20,000 subscribers and with posting less on YouTube. In September, I got 60.7k views, 4.2k hours of watch time, 800 subscribers, and I made $855.50. In October, I got 67.3k views, 4.2k hours of watch time, 700 subscribers, and I made $850.25. So more or less the same. In August, I made $1,030.89. So clearly I made less because I posted less. But at the same time, because I posted less, I'm actually working less hard. I'm not spending as much hours working on another YouTube video just to get an extra $200. So technically, I am making more per hour while spending more time making more quality content and investing in myself and my own education and growing as a creator to become even more valuable to my own business. That brings me to the number one advice that all small YouTubers need to hear in order to grow. But before I get into that, if this video has been helpful to you at all, make sure to hit that like button because it really does help me out. Every single new YouTube creator is worried about how often they should post. Should I post daily? Should I post three times a week? Should I post one time a week? Give me an answer here. The answer is as consistently as you can while making the best quality video that you can. It's all about quality over quantity on YouTube. The complete opposite of Instagram and TikTok. As a new creator on YouTube, you have to learn as much as you can about YouTube, its algorithm, and how to upload and get views as fast as you can but you have to do it in a sustainable way so you don't burn out in a year and a half. This is a marathon, not a sprint, so you have to be able to commit to making videos all the time for at least, I wanna say, five years before most people get successful on YouTube. Take it from me as someone who has fainted from exhaustion, threw away multiple years of my young adult life pulling all-nighters practically every other day just to get hired at Disney and work in Hollywood. Money is not your biggest problem here, it's pretty easy to make money. Getting more time, on the other hand, is a different story. Time is your most valuable asset so that you can become a better creator on YouTube and then make a lot more money. Having more uploads does give you a higher chance of going viral, but not if every single one of your videos suffers from quality. So the next important thing you have to do is to learn how to up the quality of your videos by watching these videos next.